The travel industry is known to contribute heavily to world's greenhouse gas emissions, especially through transportation. In a bid to tackle the climate disasters looming ahead, the travel industry has been urged to prove its commitment to sustainability before it is too late. Now, according to the World Travel and Tourism Council, the industry generates about 8 to 11 percent of the world's greenhouse gas emissions. An Australian travel company, Intipit Travel, which is one of the first carbon neutral tour operators, has warned delegates at a travel convention in Morocco that urgent change is required. And according to the Australian travel operator, only about 74 tourism and hospitality businesses have committed to reducing carbon emissions, out of which 29 have had their targets approved. Meanwhile, trade body Airlines UK has urged the ministers at the travel convention to consider introducing a pricing mechanism for sustainable aviation fuel and also for sustainable aviation um, to be the practice going ahead. Now, currently, this of course is said to be several times more expensive to produce than the traditional jet fuel. The United Kingdom aims to start the construction of at least about five commercial scale sustainable aviation fuel by 2025. The sustainable aviation fuel is produced from green sources such as agricultural waste and used cooking oil. It also reduces carbon emissions by 80% in comparison with kerosene. Tourism experts say that producing SAF is critical for the greener flying as long-haul flights are challenging to decarbonize. And this, of course, remains one of the biggest issues with the aviation industry, the amount of greenhouse gases that are emitted and it's a bit of a trade-off. One, aviation industry is, of course, something that provides a lot of employment and allows people to travel from one destination to another very quickly. But it also results in a lot of greenhouse gas emissions. Beyond is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.